Right now at 5.30, calls for leaders to fix the crisis at Rikers Island. Good evening once again. I'm Maurice Dubois. And welcome back. I'm Jessica Moore. No major progress has been made this month. That is the conclusion from a federal monitor appointed to oversee the crisis on Rikers Island. And after mounting pressure from all sides, the mayor is now willing to see the problems for himself. CBS 2's Andrea Klein-Thomas explains. After being non-committal and resistant about visiting Rikers Island, Mayor Bill de Blasio is now willing to go next week. I think it's time because we've been able to address a number of issues and I want to see if these solutions are working or whatever other things we have to do. Solutions that include reducing processing time for new detainees, which addresses dangerous overcrowding, nearly cutting in half the amount of 24-hour shifts worked by correction officers, and suspending dozens of officers without pay who are AWOL is beginning to address widespread absenteeism. He should do a walkthrough and he should walk through with his chancellor to see what a failing educational system produce. Democratic mayoral hopeful Eric Adams joined a chorus of elected officials saying even more needs to be done. Friday, before a judge, the federal monitor for Rikers Island was forceful in his criticism that centered around the lack of supervision of staff leading to security breaches, resulting in increased violence. 450% increase in slashings and a concerning amount of suicides and attempts by inmates without timely intervention from staff. A judge said a solution, quote, needs to be done now. It needs to be done seriously and results need to be shown. The federal monitor and city seemingly agreed to the development of a security plan, ordering staff to intervene faster in suicide attempts and better monitoring of video surveillance. At issue was the monitor's suggestion of bringing in an outside manager with authority to mandate security changes. There is no outside uh, security element that can come in appropriately. But after years of deteriorating conditions, many agree the current crisis at Rikers is a matter of life and death. Now the federal monitor, city, and some of the inmate attorneys have to see if they can come to an agreement. They're set to meet with the judge again next week. Andrea Klein-Thomas, CBS 2 News.